Hi all, in this video, I'll show you how to use edText file in ICV. An edText file consists list of text objects that are added to the specified cell on the specified layer number, data type, and coordinates on the fly when the tool is running. I assume that you have already installed ICV and your path is set accordingly. To run ICV LVS with edText functionality from the command line, you need to provide the input design name, top cell or cell name of the design, netlist name, netlist format like SPICE, Verilog and ICV, and the rule tech file. As required, you can also choose other user-specific options. Please note that if one or all among given arguments already exist in the run set file, they are overwritten. Here is an example of edText file. I will show you on how to incorporate it in RuleDeck file during LVS run. You can add the list of text objects that are added to the specified cell on the specific layer number, data type and coordinate in edText argument under text underscore options function within the run set file as shown. Or you can include an external edText file which contains list of text objects to be added using preprocessor directives such as include in the run set file as shown. This is the recommended way of using edText option because we add or remove all text objects only in edText file and the run set file is kept independent of any modifications. For my run, I have included an external edText file in the run set and the edText file contains the list of text objects added to a specific cell on the corresponding layer number data type, and x and y coordinates. Note that the syntax of this file is in standard ICV PXL format and users need to follow the same syntax convention when they are creating an edText file. To run LVS, type the following. Execute this command line. It will run both extraction and compare. Once the run is successful, various output files are generated according to the LVS run with customized edText file. So this is how you use edText file in ICV. Thank you.